Hello. Hello. How is everybody doing? Hello. Hello. What is everybody up to? Watching a stream, obviously. But apart from that, I'm sure there are other things you're doing. Anyone up to anything fun? <coughs> apart from watching the stream, that is. Of. Finished a video essay, cool. Wow, that wasn't even slightly in time. <laughs> That's because I'm I'm doing it in time with the music I'm hearing on the stream, which is of course different to the music that's actually playing. <clears throat> Joined a D&D campaign recently. Very nice. What are you playing? Had a family health emergency, but it was a false alarm. Um, good, I guess. Binge your Lobco and Ruiner videos. Ah, fantastic, Jana. Is it Jana or Yana? Welcome. Hello. Brilliant. Thank you. <clears throat> We're doing on time. Yep, about time now. About that time, eh, lads? With a J. Jenna. Okay. Um. This. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Turn the headset down. Hello, and welcome back to Garen River vs. Library of Ruin Alive. Part 20. Today we are going to be realising some HODs. I'm very much looking forward to that. Before we do jump into that, uh, there is something I wanted to show off. Um, I've had a special mod made and sent in by uh, a viewer, our very own Ranta. Hey, Skier. And if I go into here... To Workshop... Eugen Butt Gun. Slightly different look to it, but that, like, slightly different uh, uh, head position, but that's fine. Uh, and this should, this should allow Ranta to use this, because um, a thing that I don't like about this game that I seem to be unable to mod out is the restriction on ranged pages being with ranged um outfits only and the reason for this is because the other ones do not have animations or sound effects uh, which is weird um, <clears throat> so Ranta has made a ranged compatible version of the outfit he is wearing which is the Eugen outfit uh, as he is using a ranged deck so um, yeah thank you to Ranta hopefully uh, that works we'll give it a go um, let's see, what else, what's changed? Uh, built Tetra. I, th I think that was between streams. I completely forgot to build this one. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I completely forgot to build, uh, build this one entirely. So, I will open this one up to being claimed again. So, we've got one there to be claimed, and we have two in Hockmas to be claimed. So, if you're a viewer and you want one of those, come onto the stream, if you're watching on the VOD, that is. Uh, and, but if you're watching live, then just say in the chat, Hey, I would like to be part of Hockmer's team, or I would like to be on Chesed's team. Uh, and I will make it so. Um, right. 
pod. Um, the only change I've made, I believe, is I have given Tali uh, the Guangdong uh, page. Who is still newbie Tali because she has not had any uh, battle symbols at all. But it's a singleton bleed because the difference with the, the Guangdong one over, say, um, Bamboo Jim is that it doesn't need to be slash attacks that uh, give the bonuses, it just needs to be uh, offensive dice. So. I'll blow my nose and then we'll get on with some hod realization. <clears throat> hmm. I'm really looking forward to seeing that doctor. It should be sometime this month. Unless, uh, unless it's delayed. But I, based on the original estimates they gave me 11 freaking months ago, it should be this month that I get to see a doctor about. My broken nose and my inability to breathe. Yay! Uh, hey, Nathan. <clears throat> right, let's go fix some hot. Um, what is going to be her fourth one? Shy look, red shoes, spider, spider. It's probably not going to be like a war. So which ones are there? It could be um, the prince, the the ugly prince, whatever he was called, the the guy who. Hmm. We haven't had a face. We haven't had the the skull, have we? Anyway. Great. You appear to have collected quite a few books by now. How's the progress? The stories of the people living in this city are sensational, yet bitter in a way. Mm. They're bound to be. Everyone is looking for a place to belong to. For ordinary citizens, it seems getting a job at one of the wings, the largest conglomerates in the city, is considered the greatest happiness they can achieve. They can belong to the nest managed by the wings that way. They heard that the difference in quality of life between the nest and the back streets is quite significant, no? Quite significant is an understatement. They're practically two different worlds stitched together. It looks like the residents of a nest don't have to worry about external threats as long as it's under their wings management. They won't have to look out for murderers in the streets. They get more than enough financial support to sustain their lives and are free from the stigma of being an outcast. They get to enjoy more benefits as human beings. And in return, they do whatever their wing tells them to. But that's about all they have. People in the back streets try to join the wings for a better and happier life, but I look at the books of people from the nest, the strokes of their arts are the same as those in the back streets. They live in constant fear that they might fail to produce enough results and get kicked out of the nest. It's the same kind of insecurity that comes from not belonging to a wing in the first place. The fixers and syndicates I've seen don't seem to care too much about joining a wing though. Quite a few of them are sponsored by the wings, actually. Something to aim for. Although they still have to do whatever their wing orders them to do. And it doesn't always have to be a wing. Be it an office, an association, or an infamous syndicate, people seek all kinds of new, re renowned groups to belong to. They can't stand on their own without belonging to a group of any kind. Because it's unnerving. Powerless people in the back streets are nothing more than pebbles for the strong to kick around. She looks so adorable. In such a dangerous world, they choose to rely on big roosts like the wings. They'd rather be cogs in a wings machine than try and stand all by themselves. It's but a meaningless repetition. They'll never reach what they want. A constant cycle. Aren't you looking for a place to call home as well, Angela? Don't act like you know me. 
Angela, I know you can't do anything about us. You were the loneliest of us all. About or without? About. Are you claiming that I'm doing this because I'm lonely and need a home? Well, you haven't had lots of people to have an honest conversation with. Only recently did you get to meet Roland. Everyone wants to indulge in sweet stories. Seeing his reality is bitter and painful. Maybe that's why tragedies are unpopular. Because everyone's lives are always accompanied by him. It's not like people don't want to hold any expectations. They simply don't have any willpower left to harbour any hope deep within their hearts. It's just too obvious how they'll fulfil their lives in the city. How about you, Angela? What expectations do you have moving forward? What's your point? I'm in a meaningless cycle just like the people of the city. You're desperate to find a place for your mind to rest. Maybe you're still repeating this because of that. But you won't find that place you're looking for by killing people and expanding the library with towers of books. This is clearly different from the past. Every time this stage play resets and repeats, dead employees once again awaken. And my world resets from the beginning as if nothing has happened. Loop Zero Greetings, I am Angela, the AI tasked with general management of this facility. You must be the Sephiroth who will be helping me with my work. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Lady Angela. You can just call me Angela. We're in the same boat, so let's be more comfortable with each other. Well then, Angela, is there anything we can do? We have a number of things to take care of before the manager arrives someday. You can do it, Malkuth. There's no need to rush. Thanks, Angela. I'll do my best. Yeah, I'm cheering for you. Nedzak, don't be such a slacker now. We have plenty of things to prepare until the manager arrives and the work begins. Yes, ma'am, I'll try. What's up, Hod? Um, you know, I... I want to start a counselling program for the employees. You know, working with this place can be a bit rough for most people. That's a good idea. Employees will be able to cheer up with your help. Angela, can you take a look at this? I tried designing some efficient methods to improve the welfare of our employees. The things written here can prevent our employees from helplessly dying to abnormalities. Thanks, I'll consider your suggestion. I've been thinking if there's any way to reduce the casualty rate too. Seed of Light Scenario Error What? Did I do something wrong? Seed of Light Scenario Reactivated Loop 1 You're all back. The facility was shaking so hard I was worried something might have happened to you. Okay, that answered the question I was literally just having. I couldn't remember whether the uh, whether the Sephiroth remembered the loops or not, and it seems they don't. Um, nice to meet you, Mom. Uh, who are you? I see. Only I remember all this. And you guys have to start over from the beginning. Once again, nice to meet you. I'm simply Angela. Loop 37. Careful, Hod. I'm okay with you setting up counselling, but I don't want you to get hurt doing it. Okay, thanks for your concern, Angela. She said, I'm sorry, but I don't think we can implement the method you suggested. If we did, we'd have to start over. What? What do you mean, start over? I'm sorry, I don't want to treat employees like expendables either, but... Loop 582. Um, Angela? It's the counselling program, right? Here's my proposal for an efficient way to run your program. What do you think? 
You're awesome, Angela. You're the only one who really gets me. This is the most I can do without deviating from the script. Huh? Script? It's nothing for you to worry about. How does this look, Angela? Think it could work? I'm afraid we can't employ your method to improve employee welfare, but... How about this? I tried coming with a method of my own. Angela, thank you. It's all thanks to you. I could save Tiffany with the counselling practices you suggested. That's great. I hope everything goes well too. You're great, Angela. With this method, our employees will no longer have to suffer meaningless deaths. Yeah. Hopefully. Seed of Light Scenario Error. I knew it. Yet again. I suppose it was presumptuous of me to cross the lines again. Seed of Light Scenario Reactivated. I'm obligated to provoke the Sephiroth. I'm obligated to intensify and accelerate their suffering in this hell according to the script. I'm obligated to set the stage before the manager enters. I was not allowed to hold any expectations for relationships. All I must do is follow the script and accelerate the process. So that they suffer their due repentance. Loop 1295. Um, here to ask about, oh, here to ask about your counselling program, aren't you? Yeah, I want to help out the employees. Let me tell you one thing then. The results will be the same anyway. And at long last, I can barely reach this act of the play. All right, everyone, pay attention. The manager will be here as of today. This means the person in charge of managing everything about this facility. Oh, whoever it is, everyone will die anyway. I know that you aren't particularly fond of me, but I'm certain our new manager will be able to bring change to this place. All of you will be dead by now if I hadn't helped you. Cliff off meltdown. Hod, what's wrong? Manager, something isn't right with Hod. Why wouldn't they appreciate my kindness? I'm different. I really do care about them. Why does everyone hate me? Meltdowns. I see. This is what the script meant. She's in so much pain, but... I can't do anything to help her. It's all up to the manager. The memories and resentments of the past that the Sephiroth hold. Once they were relieved of their agonies and my creator's atonement is made, they can finally reach enlightenment. If that process fails, the play goes back to the beginning. Loop 28,239. I'm Angela, and all you have to do is follow my orders. I'm in control here. Yes, Lady Angela. If you have to run counselling programs or anything, feel free. There is no need to ask me for every little thing. You're the only one among us to have the semblance of a human, yet you act like a heartless monster. Why does Tifereth have to die all the time? Just why? You're really starting to act like a child now, Tifereth. Tifereth, Tifereth, I'm sorry, Tifereth. That's just, how could you be so cruel? So, did you enjoy your little detective game? The final truth, oh, wow. What? Sorry, Benjamin was alive, bloody 28,000, how, what was it, 2,000 or 28,000? 28,000 cycles in, Benjamin was still alive. I don't think I'd considered that. The final truth is... I'm sorry, we have to meet again like this. Angela. 52,025. 
Please watch me, manager. I can take care of the situation, no problem. Please watch me, manager. I can take care of the situation, no problem. I didn't want to open my eyes again. I just yearned to fall into the internal pit of hell bearing my sins on my back. I didn't want to open my eyes again. I just yearned to fall into the infernal pit of hell bearing my sins on my back. I'm the only one who cares about them. Why would they hate me? I'm the only one who cares about them. Why would they hate me? Always the exact same lines delivered at the exact same moments. I wanted to maintain relationships. It was a futile dream to have in the ever-repeating cycle only I could remember. Why did I foolishly cling on to a transient wish, knowing that everything will reset anyway? At least they care to look at me. However, the stage play fails to reach its end, and even if it did, all would disappear. Such was the script. Then why did I bring them back now? I would have thought they were unnecessary. I would have loved to let everyone be slowly forgotten. Knowing exactly when and how they would fall to despair, I soon despaired as well. I broke down as there was nothing I could change. I could not change them beyond what the script dictates. I spent every day without any hope or expectations. Will my time finally come when this curtain falls on this everlasting play? Let's just close my eyes. I can close my eyes and turn away from things I don't want to see. I can close my eyes and let the things I can't change stay that way. I can close my eyes, but the future will be the same as ever. Angela, how long have you endured this solitude? This is horrible. Ironic. I have simply too much expectation for the one book, that if I get my hands on it, it'll mend all my shortcomings for me. Because I just don't know how to become better myself. Goodness. I'm not afraid of the uncertainty the future holds. I'm afraid because I can predict my future. No matter what I do, I'll never get to reach what I want. That's one of Angela's possibilities manifested by the library. Oh, okay, so the swan. That's the fifth one. Alright. Yeah, I know, I've seen that a couple of times before. That side of Angela must be the one that gave up all the expectations of the future and its possibilities. The side of Angela that gave up all hope, huh? Okay. Interesting that we're starting with that one. Normally, we the unknown one is the fifth one. Are you saying that's what Miss Angela turned into? This can't be real. What are we supposed to do? This is the kind of stuff I'd see in a containment unit. No need to worry, guys. We could just hold and follow her. Let's get ready. Don't wear yourselves out, okay? Right. Um. Hmm. All right, well, my thoughts on all of that. Tragic. Um, really hard to watch. It, yeah, I totally see how it could drive someone to uncaringness. Um, by just trying and failing and knowing it's always going to be the same. Same way I don't want to watch movies and play games that I know have a bad ending because the journey isn't worth the ending. I guess in Angela's case there was always the chance of changing it, but it was such a slim chance that 28,000 times later still hadn't come true. So she just lost hope. Hey Wraithmane. I thought things would work themselves out if I worked harder. 
my clothing made of nettles. That still isn't complete. A bit more, just a little more. I'm almost there. Try just a little harder. Endure just a little more. I opened my mouth. Disgusting things swelled up inside and split right out. Spilled right out. What happens when a dreaming being is faced with reality? Alright, first brother, when this alive, get speed dice. Speed values increase by three. Ah, and these three are not active. Clothing of nettle. Starting with scene two, summon a brother at the start of each scene. Does not activate if there are already five allies. If four brothers are alive, use a mass attack page. If four brothers have died, use a mass attack page. Great. Alright. Yeah, that's really fast. I can't block those. Oh, hey, um... Operament Hellcott? I'm probably saying that wrong. Operament. Interesting name. Uh, right. Endured those ineffective blunt. Vulnerable to slash. Okay. Specious attack. Angela gains strength. Inflict feeble. Angela gains strength. Inflict feeble. Okay. Vomit. All right. Um. Guess I'm basically just going to be countering whatever's thrown at me now. Uh, cumulus wall there. This one is against Hod. Class on the spec to counter that. You against Lom. 4 to 8. Class on the spec. Green waste against Tali. 3 to 7. Uh, mangle back. The other one's against Angela. Four to seven. Mm, best chance there, I think. Hod. Four to seven. Slay. Lam. You're being hit by a lot there. You're not going to be able to block all that. Four to seven, smoking pipe. Mm. Do your best with those, and the we have two blank ones, so we'll go with a draw, targeting uh, the front boy who gives the extra speed dice. selected that and same thing here okay so to remind you how these guys work these are my best guys um, Garen and Hod both get plus to slash um, Larm is all about the bleed Ethan is a smoke bleed build and Tali is just a plus one to um, emotional dice at higher thingies Nice. Ooh. Nice. Good work, Ethan. Not good work, Larm. Oh, Tali. Great work, Hard, as always. Ooh. Damn, these, these. The boy band is tough. Good work, Ethan. Not a bad first round. Staggered two of them, and one more woke up. 
When the character is alive, use a combat play page that reflects attacks. Fantastic. Awful. Uh, return the block damage to the attacker. Fuck, you know. Alright. I mean, to be honest, that's not a bad one. Because I could just ignore that and this is not going to do anything. <laughs> Although it's a high-speed dice, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to outpace mine. Alright, hard. Uh, if you go for that, and you're going to need to draw as well. Uh, actually, you can probably just use a draw hard, because you've got the plus, plus two to slash. So that's 4-9. Uh, so you, you, you should be fine with that. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to risk it. Um, 4-7... Go for the critical moment, and then uh, you can restore some light as well. And then Larm is getting focused by Angela. And there's not much I can do to stop it. Tali can intercept one, but I'm going to do a great deal. So if I have Tali intercept, curl up. Uh. This one. Mm. Let's go with that one to draw. And then intercept that one. Take a bit of pressure off Larm. I'm just going to ignore that one entirely and ignore the speed dice. And you've got a bit of smoke. You're going to need some more smoke. Alright, actually, if uh, you instead intercept this one... Sky clear on this one instead. Uh, so let's see, what are we doing? Uh, four, doubled, eight, um, ten, no, twelve, uh, twenty. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's fatal there, and. Uh, six, nine. We're gonna need another one thrown on there. Right. Good work, Tali. Oh wow, just one shot. Cool. Ooh, Lam's not doing well. Hod is. Double kill for Garen. Nice. Uh, surprise gift. No. Alright, I will... Uh, hmm. I'm going to give Cocoon to Tali. Because she's got that card that has... That page that is a 1 to 2. So it's got a 50% chance of rolling max. Uh, what do you do? Well, this brother is alive. Attacks deal fatal damage regardless of resistance. Oh, shit. That's bad. Luckily, she's barely attacking. Okay, let's focus that guy then. Hod. Overcome. Lam. Garen. Should I take that off and let's go 
Get Garen to step in there instead. Tali. I mean, you could do an absolute smash. Disappeared family. Oh, no. Yeah, do a smash ton of damage there. And also restore some light by hitting this one. Ethan, you're going to have to do some filleting. Alarm. Oh yeah, I was going to ignore that. on there then to do a bit of extra damage to Angela. Okay. Nice. Staggered. Dead. So we're gonna we're gonna get her mass page hopefully next round. Nice. Staggered. Oh, Tali took a bad hit there. All right, there goes the fourth. So that's all. F that's four dead family. Uh, look at the day on hot. Use a special combat page. Uh, and when this character is alive, she's a combat page that inflicts five bleed and fragile. Shriek of Broken Dreams, Mass Summation, Stagger Target, only negative coins can be gained next scene. Well, damn. <laughs> Nauseating reality, alright. They are so fast. What's hitting that one? Oh, you. Oh, you. Um, that's going to Hods first. What's this one hitting? Oh, that's... That's not a mass attack. Freaking see who that's going for. Because the mass attack always shows. This line here. So that's going for Hod's second dice. It's so hard to bloody see that. So Inkova against Nauseating Reality. Hold second dice. Clash that. Curl up is go for Tali. Fill it. Yeah, let, let's just lay into Angela a bit. Will of the Prescript. What about you? Uh, now die. 
and also get some light. That's going for his first page. Let's go for class and respect. Pod. Another sleigh. Okay, wait for our hob to get angry. And he's fine. Nice. Not nice. Good dodge, Tali. Nice. Shredding through Angela's health. Staggered. Good work. If character dies, Angela becomes staggered. Alright, that's pretty handy. Okay, so she is just going to keep using those. Goody. Go for a smoking pipe against that. Uh, here's my chance. Can I intercept that one? I can with Tali. Intercept that with Inner Ardor. A three against Hod. Sharpened blade is the only thing I could use there. Sharpened blade, uh, so that becomes 3 5, plus the 2 she already has, so 5 7. That's pretty damn good. And then I throw in a sleigh as well. Against him. We'll draw one against him. Uh, draw one against him and... Save that. There, that's hold. And clash win, yeah, I don't want that then. Chuck that on there to try and kill off that guy. Ethan has no smoke, so I want you to go and smoke aggressively at Angela. Shoving stab. And extract fuel against him. That should be enough to kill him. And save your light for... Oh no. Do that against her so that you'll go into the next one with a little light. Oh damn, I've just missed Hold being angry. Wait for it. Angry Hold. Staggered instantly. Instantly dead. Bloody hell, Hold. Damn, Tali. Yep. All right. So this is Letitia. Such a cruel role she had to fill. I gotta wonder how lonely it must feel to be unable to build relationships no matter what you do. And you tell me I'm not one to talk about what I never experienced. That's why we can't be too hasty to sympathize with her. I guess we can't fully understand each other's stories. That wasn't too bad, though. Right, gift-wrapped friend and Letitia. 
I want to see Angela dressed up as Letitia. It's going to be adorable. Look at her. She's so cute. Uh, this is for you. I want you to accept it. I don't see any smiles. Everyone looks gloomy, including myself. There was nothing I could do other than watch from afar. So this is her say. This is all about how she wanted to be friends with these, with the with the Sephiroth, and was just unable to be. She tried to befriend them, but just ultimately couldn't. I don't really get the the, the Black Swans connection. I guess. Like, her family died? I, I think that was her story, that her family died and there was nothing she could do to stop that. And this one's about uh, wanting to make friends. Spider Bud is all about family. Um, red Shoes. Obsession? I don't see how that one connects. I don't see any smiles. Everyone looks gloomy. All right. What's your what's your deal then? Um, prioritize the gift, the target with the least amount of gifts in hand. Adds a gift to every librarian's hand every two scenes. Give an additional gift for every two we witch friends that have died. These guys presumably. Huge gift. If all gift wrap friends are defeated, use a mass attack page. Uh, afterwards, it's used every three. Block dice lose power times the number of four. T power times four the number of gifts in the opponent's hand. If all other allies have died, all resistance has changed to fatal. So you have to knock it down to fatal. Well, you don't have to. It's only normal. Um, but you, you knock it down to fatal, um, but that causes her to use a mass attack. Uh, on the third scene, use a powerful combat page to deal significant damage and gives three copies of gift to the target before causing these to self-destruct. If this character dies, a wee witch friend is spawned. Oh, I, oh, I see. Um... Gives an additional gift for every two Wee Witch friends. If this character dies, a Wee Witch friend spawns if the character is killed before it can self destruct. It will spawn with 80% health. Alright. 2 to 6. 755. 2 to 6. 755. Add gift. Inflict feeble. Look at Letitia, how adorable. Give one strength, three protection to two random allies. Eight, eight, eight. All right. Ally with the lowest HP recovers. All right. I'm tempted to just ignore these guys and just go straight for for Angela. Like I'll counter them, but I'm not too concerned. Angela needs, not Angela, Hod needs some draw. So these are all eight. Oh, sorry. Her block dice lose power times four. Uh, four times the number of gifts. Right, that's why they're all eight. Yeah. So I do want gifts in order to do that. In that case, I'm not going to block that one. Or that one. Smoke at you though. And smoke it. Smoke at Angela. Mm. 
All right, everybody else is just going to pile on attacks on that front. stab first. Just gonna blank that one. Mangle. And frontal assault. Tali's gonna use all the cards. Don't know if that's a good idea. Pages. I keep calling them cards. I don't intend to. I want to call them pages. I just can never bloody remember. Alright, just throw everything on that. Angry Hod. Damn. Oh no. Ethan's almost staggered. Yikes. Friend! Page with a friend gets power. I'll go with the friend on hot. Okay, gift. Explodes after two scenes, dealing 15 damage and inflicting the pitter pat. The librarian dies with three stacks of pitter pat accumulate. Okay. Wow, you've got a lot of gifts. Everybody has gifts. And one of the gifts has a gift on it, has a friend on it. That's hilarious. Okay. Take it. All right, smoke. Ah, oh, they're all going for the one with the most gifts. Prioritize the target with the most gifts in hand. Alright, I want you to throw a gift back at him. Set that. And also draw. Uh, that's going against Tali. Who's going to disgorge some innards. 27 bleed. So the damage of that is going to go up by 20 freaking 7. Is there any way I can get that as a one sided attack then? <laughs> because that's going to be too good. Ah, oh, nice. It's, uh, yeah, but she's getting minus four, so yeah. I think she, that's just guaranteed to go through as it is. And Lom. And now die. use a gift. The one with the thing on it. Uh, I want you also to draw. That one's not being blocked. No, 
draw the rent. Uh, Ethan, take that hit. Yep, shot the rest on Angela then. Anything else Tali has? No. Get angry! Yes. Nice. Yeah, 27 damage, that made a lot of difference. 15. Ethan's about to stagger. Ethan's about to stagger. 14. 6. Ethan staggered. Ah, Miss Angela is becoming even creepier. True is freaky for sure. I still don't get what's going on. Hod, please don't get too concerned over this. That's right. There wasn't a lot you could do in this situation. Okay, we we've got to do what we must do right now. You lot will slowly lose hope, letting out faint breaths waiting for a next time that may never come. To fatten up the still incomplete being, much is needed. It can't be helped, the one book that will set me free is my everything. Having to witness them all despair from beginning to end, I collapsed at last. Spiderling dinner time targets foes with cocoon. Uh, the hunt begins, becomes active, and targets foes for two scenes after an ally dies. Targets foes that have killed an ally. Every two scenes gives four protection. All right, that seems relatively simple. All right, let's go murdering some spiders then. I need to intercept that one to protect and uh, to protect Ethan. Sorry. Um, God, are they all using threes? They freaking are, apart from you. Uh, sky clear. Uh, just throw everything on you. Tali is getting attacked by two of them. Inarada. Hod has virtually nothing she can do here. You're just going to have to tank that one to keep Ethan safe. Here's my chance. Drag that one off. Hold. Nice. Oof. Oh, we're so close to staggering on a lot of us. Uh, yes, daylight savings have kicked in now, so um, clocks have gone in a direction. I can never remember which. But yeah, we're on uh, British summertime now, which means we have basically aligned with um, North America again. I'm going to go with meal on hod. Q 
stimulus wall. Wow, our speed is so low. We're all bloody bound. Apart from Ethan. Respect. And they've also all got four protection. Uh, fresh fillet. Hidden blade to intercept this one. Guarantee the kill. Get some light. There's very little we can do this round because of the protection. Nice, staggered. Alright. Oh no, he's still not bloody dead. Now he is. Ah, uh, spiders. Hey, Angela. Good to see you. Becomes active and targets foes for two scenes after an ally dies. Targets foes that kill an ally. So that's hot. Uh, all right. Twelve, twelve. Stagger target. Inflict cocoon. Bloody entirely counters. Okay, freaking tons of counters then. All right, well we're going for this one then, aren't we? Tell me you can beat that. Can some hod? Can you beat that? Can you beat twelve? You should be able to. Because you've got look of the day, so you'll have a plus two from that. Um, you have plus two slash, so you've got a plus four total. And you have one strengthen. So you've got a plus five total. So that's an eight thirteen. That's not very good odds of <laughs> beating a twelve. Shit. Is it better to go for that one and just take the five? It might be, because that's... The friend gives it a further two to four. I think it is. And then everybody just chuck the rest on there. No. Oh. Oh. Everyone else, distract the spiders. Which is a horrible fucking thing to say. Uh, critical moment. to stab Angela for me. This one, going for Ethan. Fill it. And draw. Uh, that's all the spiders taken care of. These are all counters, so they won't, if I'm correct, they won't actually hurt, but they will intercept. Ten speed.
I'll have to get angry. There. Nice! Alright, well, she's almost staggered, but she should be fine for the rest of the scene. Staggered. Deaded. Nice. Ooh, Tali's almost staggered. Not bad. Still going for Hod though, despite Garen having killed a spoiler. But all the others get protection, but she doesn't. That's good. Now die. Ethan, can you intercept this one? No, not really. You can try that. She's still trying to cocoon Hod. Flying sword. Yeah, definitely that one gets the buff. The squeaky wheel gets the buff. Uh, and draw for me, would you? You need some cards. Pages. Pages, Garen. They're called pages. Uh, she's got 24 bleed. So, stab the shit out of her, please, Tali. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, fuck it. Do it all. Ink over. Ethan. Wait for Hod to get angry. There. Eleven! Damn! But we beat her. Ooh. She's still staggered going into this, but... Desire and obsession soaked in blood. I'm not sure what she's desiring, though. Maybe it's her own happiness. Could it be about that perfect book she was looking for? She thinks she has nothing for herself, I'm sure of it. Damn, it sucks the Hod's bloody staggered going into this. Th that is all I have left. Gorgeous, shiny thing in my possession. I won't have any... Th I can't... There's no point in trying to drag myself down there to read that. It's mine. This means everything to me. So don't take it away. With more blood painted over, the shoes and I are tinged with beauty. I need this. I don't know how to become better myself. So this is, yeah, this is all about her book. This is the obsession about finding that one book. Doesn't seem to fit in with the theme of the rest of it. The whole talking about the book in this one just doesn't seem to be connected at all. Alright, what's the deal? Speedy. Uh, prioritizes targets with bleed. Alright, Larm, you're fucked. Uh, inflicts one profound wound on hit. If target has five stacks of profound wound, deal damage equal to 25% of their max and remove all stacks. If an enemy has three or more bleed at the start of a scene, use a powerful combat page. Once used, the page is not used again for two scenes. Alright, that's not too bad. Bursting Desire. Recover HP. And counters. Gain power against targets on bleed. On hit, break a speed dice. And you guys inflicting a load of bleed. Right, oh. Anyone going for Hod? It seems nobody is actually going for Hod. That is a mercy. Cool.
Loads of them are going for Tali, though. <laughs> Except that one, I think. That's a perfect counter. Mm. Uh, Ethan, what are you doing? Oh, smoke it at that one. Fill it at that one. And then draw by hitting Angela. the only one that's unaccounted for at the moment. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Doesn't matter about Hod because she is out of the game for this round. Oh, Tali staggered shit. I mean, she staggered before she got to fight Angela. I mean, she's in for a world of hurt. Oh. <laughs> That's not too bad. That was not too bad at all, because Tali is really protected, but she is still staggered for another round. Which sucks. I can't resist it. Gain power times three... By three times the target's bleed, purge bleed from target. Bloody hell. Lam, you're screwed, mate. Yeah, you're just gonna have to... You're gonna have to fight back with anything you've got. Um... Let's try and kill off some of these buggers. Shit, sorry, I didn't notice Hodge was unhappy. Yeah, Lam, you're fucked. Oh. Oof. Not that much. A lot of stagger, but not much else. Oh, 
Lom's staggered, so Lom's probably dead. Innards. She's only got three bleeds, so maybe I should hold on to that. No, that is too good a counter to that. Except that one, Lam, I will protect you. this last one. Nice. Come on, nice. Nice, a lot of damage. Good one, Ethan. Good one, Ethan. Everyone's right on the verge of bloody staggering. Oh, it looks like we took out one of the things. I'm sure there were four, weren't there? Left shoe, left shoe, left shoe. They're all left shoes. How many left shoes does one gal need? Am I right? Uh... Found wound. Oh, right. That's a profound wound. Oh, just inflicts it on hit. Okay. Um, three to eight. You're just gonna have to smoke at everybody today, Ethan. Gain three power against targets with bleed, which Hod has. Damn, almost had a light on Tali. Almost had a light on most people. <laughs> Alright, no, just Tali and Lam.
which one said that one? I might do that with the second one actually. Uh, hoping I can get a draw in against Angela. I think Lam's fucked, so I kind of want to just. Uh, I don't really have a counter to this. Can't afford Incova. I don't have any better to use here. Tali's the only one with anything decent. So, unless I take that, uh, does he bleed? He does not. Alright, Ethan's going to stagger. But I think that's worth it. Okay. It's pretty hard to get angry again. Nice Ethan. Nope, Ethan staggered. Shit. Nice one, Tali. Ethan's, Ethan's, I think Ethan's dead this round. Not bad. Ooh. Ooh. She's so close to staggering. She's staggered. And one of those is dead as well. Wow. Ethan survived. Get over uh, overconfident. I say, don't get overcompensating. Don't overcompensate, Garen. Uh, I think Sky Clearing Cut is now well and truly out of date. I like it, but I I don't think it's a good card anymore. It's just the the one to five. Be quietly confident. The 1 to 5 is, is just not very good these days. Alright, draw. Not draw. Uh, get some light. Let's get a load of light. Slay. Sharp. Class. And there's nothing else Tali can do. Throw everything on, on here, I want to get it done. Wait for her to get angry. This should be the last round against this one. And then we just have uh, the face to deal with. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> one of those down. Damn, Hot is such a beast. Yep, that's Angela dealt with. Nice. She could look that horrendous. Was she only playing, looking for a place to rest? But there's no way a home earn this way could be comforting. Well, anyway, we have a job to finish. I think we're almost done. Hang on tight. Okay, yeah, I kind of see where this is. this one's going. It would be hilarious if that matched with that one. Uh, right, let's, let me just read the chat. Not the chat, the text. A home. A place where I don't have to care about the attention of others. 
That's what I'm wishing for. This place allows neither laughter nor despair. What kind of expression must I make then? Oh, there is no place for me anywhere. I had to make one myself. Even something. When throbbing emotions surge up, it's best to simply close my eyes. So this is her not feeling at home? Yeah, the, the Like, I I see the reflections that each of them have on her in, on this floor, but I see no theme to them at all. A couple of them are connected, but apart from that, it, there's no... I don't see an overarching theme. Uh, moves to the next phase. Uh, number of speed dice is determined based on the number of librarians that are alive. Great. Uh, the number of speed dice determined uh, uses different combat pages based on the face made at the moment of rolling the speed dice. Oh, okay, I see. Put a bigger smile on your face. Dice gain differing amounts of power depending on the current expression. Happier expressions indicate less power. The combat pages Angela used have different effects that determine her current expression. Use a powerful combat page. So I need to time this one to when she's happy. Happy! Happy, happy Angela, happy Angela. Uh, rolls minimum value of the current expression is the happiest. Right, so. Alright. So, Joyous Face, she's just purely defensive. I'm, I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop, because this seems really easy. I assume it's the Wavering Emotions? But okay. On Clash Lose. Oh, on Clash, lose opponent, lose, uh, restores. Oh, restores light. Sorry, I'm, I can't read. Hello, I'm Garen. I can't read. Oh, yeah, they're just going to intercept. That's fine. I'll just throw everything onto one then and see what happens. No light still, Angela. Not Angela. Who are you, Tali? I can't read. That's been established. Okay, they change at different rates. This is going to be really annoying. I know how I'm going to do this though. Wait for Hod to be angry. No, okay. <laughs> this might take a while, guys. No, Hod's neutral, but that's okay. Nice. Not bad for one round. Happy, happy, happy.
and I've restored a load of light. Old realization with the difficulty is front loaded. Well, that's why they usually start at like the earlier ones first, because they're considerably easier. Damn, that would have been the perfect time. Neutral hod. Even neutral hod will kick your ass. There we go. Victory! <sighs> the comfort I take is that we made Angela smile. Oh, got an achievement as well. Angela, to move forward you really need to rely on yourself, not anyone or anything else. I hate that interpretation of things. I really hate that. Like, you can't trust anyone else, you just gotta do what's best for you because no one else is gonna help you. No one else gives a shit about anything or anyone else other than themselves. You gotta learn that and you gotta remember that. God, that's such a depressing mindset. Right now, you're so obsessed with the one book you'll suppose that will supposedly complete you. You're strictly relying on that instead of holding any expectations for yourself. That's a better reason for it, rather than just no one's no one gives a shit. It should be a case of don't look for outside validation. Be comfortable with yourself and improve yourself rather than wanting other people to save you. That's a that's a, a very notably different interpretation, which is much better. Uh it's like the irony people have in this city. Perhaps you're right after all. Maybe I'm desperately looking for a place to call home, like you said. And putting myself in a cycle once again, trying to find the home I'll never reach. But it doesn't have to end like that. No one's life has to. That's right. I'm different. The repetitions I'm going through are similar to a wheel rather than a treadmill. A wheel advances forward with each cycle it makes. Yeah, even if everyone is doing the same things over and over, I believe, I hope, in one thing. That this is not a simple repetition, but a practice to become a better person. That is basically a summary of what the loop was. It wasn't a treadmill, it was all about learning and improving, just not for anyone other than the selfish wanker at the top. I didn't expect to hear that much from you. Get on with your book discussion meetup or whatever. And... Never mind. Was she about to say thank you? I think she was about to say thank you and then stopped herself. I wonder what she was trying to say there. Maybe she wanted to thank us for helping her. See, Hod and I are on the same wavelength. It must have been too embarrassing to say it herself if that's the case. I guess she was. Say, Roland, would you like to join today's meetup? Uh, I appreciate the suggestion, but I'm a busy man. I, I don't know how to read. Maybe next time. Thanks for the hard work today, Hod. Yay! Oh, everybody survived. Today, everybody lived. Oh, yes. Best floor. Gooey waist, well-worn parasol, and loving family. Elijah fell to her knees. Ugh. I talked about this in Lobco, in my Lobco streams, but the fact that there is a notable character, one of the few named characters in Abnormality entries, and it's Elijah, and it's specified as female. And we have Malkuth, who is Elijah, and is female. Because <laughs> Elijah is typically a male name, 
So the fact that they've, I mean, I mean no, I know that in in Lobco, names don't have set genders. That's the thing. I'm, you know, I accept that. But it, the fact that they would have two characters in the minimal cast of these games, or in the of the first game, not so much second one. The second one's a much bigger cast. But the fact that you'd have two characters called Elijah just seems notable to me. But then again, they've done it again, haven't they? Because I, I spoke to um, Skier about uh, Limbus Company, and there's a character in that called Dante, who, as far as we know, is completely unconnected to the Dante in this game. So that's two times they reused a name for seemingly no freaking reason other than they liked the name. It's just... And I know that, like, Elijah... Both Elijah's are presumably biblical references and both Dante's are literary references, but you can't reference the same thing twice in one property. You, you just can't do it. <sighs> anyway. Elijah fell to her knees and finally started to puke up the thing everyone else was vomiting, believing that it would turn white... The black swan wanted to lift the curse by weaving together nettles. All that was left is a worn parasol it once treasured. She began to look for her brothers, her family who needed to wear the nettle clothing to be free from the curse, ones whom she shared happy dreams with. Upon winning a clash, inflict a bind, fragile, bleed and paralysis to all enemies next scene. Bloody hell. That's powerful. Uh, gain 2 to 3 speed when hit, nullify the damage at a 30% chance and return double the amount back as stagger. Freaking hell, that's also powerful. I don't know why that's a black one, I suppose. Not black one, red one, I suppose it's because you've got to be hit. Uh, gain 6 nettle clothing, which grants protection equal to its amount each scene. A stack of nettle clothing is lost at the end of each scene. Cool. Uh, Dante in Library of Runa can be excused. She's from a low ranking general reception and pretty unimportant. Then why name a Dante? Then why name a Dante and then reuse it? There must have been other... I mean... Alright. Quick detour. I know that in Limbus Company, the main characters are named... They're all literary references. Ishmael, uh, Heathcliff, Dante. They're all references to classic literature. Um, like... Uh, Ishmael is Moby Dick. Heathcliff is... Uh, is it Wuthering Heights? Um, Dante is obviously Dante's Inferno. So, I get that, but you couldn't have found another classic literary reference that wasn't one you'd already used? It's like, it's like in Doctor Who, when they're like, hmm, let, let's just recast this person who's already appeared in Doctor Who before, like, uh, who should we have for, um, David Tennant's second companion? Uh, well, uh, Freema Agumon is pretty good. Well, wasn't she already in that episode and admit the Doctor? Yeah. Yeah, she was. Let's just say that was her cousin. Yeah, because cousins are identical twins. So, I disliked it in that. I mean, Doctor Who actually had um, uh, Peter Capaldi play three different characters in the universe. He was um, Caecilius in the, the, doc, the, the Pompeii Doctor Who episode. He was, like, the main villain in, the tor in one of the torture plots. I think it was the children... Children of Earth season of Torchwood. He was like a main character in that. And then he was the Doctor. There are other actors. I get that once you've worked with them, you're like, actually, this, this act is really good to work with. Let's work with them again. But it's... You fuck up the lore of your world by doing that. <sighs> anyway, sorry. It's a, it's a peeve of mine. <laughs> Like, I work very hard to make sure that I don't do that sort of thing. So seeing this do it twice irked me. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, today's expression... 18 to 30. Deal 10 plus stagger damage against stagger... Uh, plus 10 da damage against stagger targets and a counter. That's really good. Sanguine Desire, enemies do not lose bleed stacks after rolling offensive dice this scene. T gain power by two times the target bleed. Wow. Uh, inflict three, bind, feeble, and disarm. That's pretty good. Nine to 25. Mass individual. On hit, add a small... Uh, add a copy of small gift to the target hand. 
a week, one cost page. Enemies prioritize it. Cool. Mass individual target loses three light next scene. Yeah, not bad. Uh, so two people can't have the same name. It's like... You see, I always see this argument when talking about... Um, why is that one a different color? Interesting. Um, yeah, I always see this this discussion about stuff in, in fiction. Like, oh, but this sort of thing does happen. Write it so it doesn't. Like, two people can have the same name. But when you have such a small cast of characters as there are in Lobco... Um, they shouldn't. Uh, like, John is one of the most popular names, but if, like, 10% of characters in a work of fiction are called John, that might be statistically accurate, but is not interesting. Write better than that. The thing with fiction is that it doesn't have to 100% accurately reflect reality if that makes it less interesting. And it's a thing that I struggle with. I struggle to... I, I, I have this need to to reflect things as accurately as possible or sort of fairly spread stuff out. And that's something I have to actively resist. But yeah. <sighs> anyway. Yeah, in Library of Ruiner, there is a staggering cast. That is true. The Elijah thing, though, that was just in Lobco. Um, and yeah, after having that staggering cast, I still I still feel that they could have they could have done something different. Anyway, enough about that. What is with this yellow exclamation mark? I must wonder how you two perceive me now that your memories have returned in whole. Oh yeah, of course, because um, it would be those two. Because Gabura is the one that killed her, or died fighting her, one or the other, both maybe. And Hod is the one who, uh, Michelle is the one who offed herself because of Binna's actions. So yeah, those two probably aren't very fond of her. What? what kind of, that kind of stuff doesn't matter to me anymore. Oh, you're much more self-possessed than I expected. I can't say I'm at all uncomfortable, but we're basically in the same oven now. I can't say that I'm not at all uncomfortable, but we're basically in the same oven now. Uh, come on, Hod, have some confidence. You look even smaller than usual. Oh, she's tiny. She's not the person you remember in your past, at least not anymore. I can't guarantee what'll happen in the future, but she won't be harming us for a good while. Um, uh, right, sorry, Gabora. Fascinating, as much as it would be amusing to make a jest of her pitiable state. Gabora is speaking the truth. I'm no longer the being you interacted with in the past. Don't you dare take the piss out of Hod. I will put you in a maid outfit so fast. When it seems to have ended, a new breath of life is given. Of course, I'm not entirely separable from my past self either. I have become someone who cannot do any harm to you, yet I can still see fear in your eyes. What is that you're so afraid of, child? I'm in the same circumstances as you now. I was just nervous since our first time face to face and talking to each other. Fret not, I've called you two for a simple reason. To have tea together. I su suggest you drink it before it gets cold. It's best enjoyed while the scent is warm and able to be savoured. The tea is clear. It tastes a bit sweet. I added lemon juice and honey to the black tea. I prepared it specially for you. Didn't smell like honey at all. I thought you put sugar. It is because the scent of the honey was lost as it came into contact with the tea. Too much sugar can make the tea feel muddy, though I suppose it is a matter of preference. It sure is sweet, not too bad. Did you know black tea has several names across various regions? Uh, I think I heard about that. Some call it black tea based on the colour of the leaves. Some call it red tea because the tea is red. 
I guess is the difference between valuing the essence and the results. Perhaps you could view it that way. So, let me ask you how you like to refer to this tea. That's a tough question. What's the big deal? Just call it whichever name you're more used to. Oh, that is what you say. It is rather entertaining to converse with you. Come again later when you long for the scent of tea. Interesting. Is she still unavailable? She's still unavailable. Interesting. That is a fascinating little scene. Because it doesn't do anything mechanically different. Every other scene in this game has made some mechanical difference. And that one hasn't. Fascinating. Ah. Oh, such a good game. But if Binna takes the piss out of Hod one more time, I swear, she's going to be dressed up as Meow before the day is done. Why did this feel so menacing? In a way, it's like... It's essentially like meeting your bully. But hundreds of years have passed. You've both gone through incalculable difficulties. But you still see them as your childhood bully. Like, it's unavoidable. You, you, you cannot separate those memories. Especially as in Hod's case, it literally ended her first life. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Amazing. Right. Next time I'll be doing uh, the Netzak stuff. Uh. Wow, I didn't expect Dream of the Black Swan. I did not see that coming at all. But this floor did so well. It's such a shame we don't get any like special things for it, though. That sucks. Do we get, like... Oh, we don't even get a word. Oh, that sucks. But they did so well. Proud of you guys. What could be the last abnormal on art? Let's see. Fragment, Galaxy... Porcupus Alrean. Um, maybe the Cherry Blossom? Hang on, was the, were these also ending with... Yeah, these also ended with Wars, didn't they? Yeah, they did. So it's probably a Wars. Um, oh, what was that one? The What was the tree? Not the Cherry Blossom tree, the other one. So it could be the, um, god, I can't remember what they're bloody called. Because <sighs> I, these are the ones I hated, so I, I didn't internalize their names. There was the one, the meat, there was the meat lantern, could be the meat lantern, that would fit the um, parasite tree, I think that's the one I was thinking of. Yeah, it could be meat lantern, could be parasite tree. Yeah, that's all I got, though. Because Tifereth, I, I'm 99% sure the fourth one is going to be the Servant of Wrath from Wonder Lab. But I don't know what the fifth one's going to be. What do you pair with, with four magical girls? Something completely different? Or something... thematically similar? Yeah, the um, uh, the meat lantern is purely because the he seems to have like a universe and plant theme, visually at least. So, meat lantern would fit that. I you know I can't remember meat lantern's story at all. So I'm guessing it purely on um, aesthetic similarities. I don't know about that one. She's still got bloody three to find. Oh, hey, Charcoal Angel, welcome. Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, not too bad, thanks. Um, yeah, 
sleep schedule's been all over the place. Uh, in part because I've been feeling quite ill the last week. I'm fine. Like, I'm feeling better now, but I, it's just messed up my sleep and stuff. And I don't have any for Binna or Hokma. Interesting. God, there's so much more to this game still. I've still got all of these to do. I've got the second rank of this one, which isn't... Oh, no, it is there, look. It's... Oh, it is actually there. That's the one I found. Cool. Did I miss a realisation? Yes, we've just finished Hod. Uh, Hod is fully realised. And it went so well. Everybody lived. Victory for Hod. Hod and the Hoddies. Ah, oh, went so well. What was this one? That was uh, Argyle, I think. This one... I don't remember what this one was. Ah, uh, I looked at this one, I don't remember it. Uh, no, I'm only doing one realization per stream. It just takes too long. <laughs> takes too long and it's too big an event. I'd rather, you know, let them have their time to breathe and give me a break between them as well. Is it the loo? I thought I'd already dealt with the loo. No, this this is thumb, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you're right, it's the loo. And I haven't dealt with them. I managed to get one kill and stole all their cards. Uh, and this one I've not seen. But I'm worried about because it's warp cleanup crew. Oh, I really, really hope that I do get to fight uh, Elena and the puppeteer. Because I, I sh I'm sure they mention in this one... Let me just have a quick look at the pre. <sighs> she is canonically like 26. I find that crazy. She looks like she's about 15. Uh, so I just want to skip through. Also, a thing I love about this because I've I've got I went on the uh, the wiki and got art for the receptions I've done. So I have this this without the uh, the UI as. Um, a, a desktop wallpaper uh, because it's 1080p and I love that Lesty is just stood in this really casual way you can't really see but she's like got her legs bent she's just like oh would you look at that and I just it's such a brilliant touch that Lesty seems remarkably at home because of being from like what was it District 23 or whatever she's from and I'm just skipping through this because I want to just double check one thing that they said Maybe the population of the city is weird genetics. Yeah, <laughs> uh, to be honest, I'm inclined to just put it down as it's a, um, uh, it's an anime thing. <laughs> but uh, I just, I just find it crazy. Um, right, this is the bit. Blood Red Knight. She's a former star of the city who was shot down. Um, so you can't really see it again because of the UI, but El Eleanor is there. So you can just about make her out. Um, but presumably she is Blood Red Knight. The question is, is that a colour? Because that in Blood Red is, is a colour, but it could also just be the name of it. But yeah, so I that I I really want to fight her. I want to steal her clothes and dress someone up as her. That would be amazing. Right. Uh, let's try Lou again. Although first, I'm just going to very quickly pop to the toilet. And I'm not going to put it on to be right back because I always forget to take it back off again. So I'll be back in a moment, guys.
There you go. Oh, sorry, it's getting a bit warm. Hang on a sec. Where was I? Oh. I don't think fixes are given threat ratings. If she was a former colour, they would have said so, right? Possibly. But then again, like... Hmm. Maybe if they were a colour who sort of turned against the city? Like, I, I reckon if, say... Picking an example out of the air, the Blue Reverberation is revealed that he's connected to what's going on. Um, he's he's probably not going to be renamed, but he'll probably become a threat and get a threat rating. Hmm. That's just my guess, though. I don't know. Right. Uh, yes. Oh, yes. This is the one with Zhao. Yeah, I remember now. And it was a five. Hmm. What are they? They're we they're uh, endured against stabbing, and they use burn. So I tried Malkuth before, and it failed. But since then, we've had two more uh, realizations. So let's try Yasod. They should be able to handle this. I only get the one floor for two acts, but... I represent order! Okay. Really messy to begin with. Corlinium. Offensive dice deal plus one damage for this scene. Wow. I don't know that I've got that one. That's pretty good. I thought I had all of these. But I don't recognise a lot of these cards. <laughs> I recognise that one and that one, but... What's wrong with Pleb Lord's face? Wow, you can't say that, Dreaming. Dreaming doesn't say, oh, what's wrong with Dreaming Author's face. You've got a face of, like, a cosmic spider. Come on, man, don't judge. Oh, yeah, Synchronization Magic Bullet Ego page. That'll be cool. Wood Creek. He, I believe he's got plus one blunt and plus two to blunt damage. Nice. Let's go for Pleb Lord. What is it about Pleb Lord's face that make people want to hit him? Is it because he looks a little bit like uh, Max from Sam and Max, but sort of inverted colours? <laughs> oh my god. Let's go for the automated movement and a puppet blockhead. Probably the other way around, actually. Automated movement and puppet blockhead. Your sod's just getting frontal assaults. Uh, 
Uh, bayonet combat, let's take out this guy. Nice. Come on, guys, stop getting a hit. Nice one, almost staggered. Very good, almost staggered. Oh, come on, guys. Oh, Pleblod is not doing well here. with rhythm makes successful attack a random character gains plus one random character it doesn't say random ally hmm. yeah I should go with metallic ringing for your sod okay Emotional turbulence. Endless battle and endless battle. Emotional turbulence. Let's go with shock round. Just a load of sturdy defences. Who did we almost stagger? That one and that one. Right, let's lean in and kill them off. Okay with that. What's he got? Metallic ringing? Yeah. Successful blunt attacks. Yeah, mannequin there. drag and puppet blockade Elma automated movement and puppet blockade Oh no. Oh god, you sold you guys are getting minced here. At least we staggered one of them, but Pleb Lord's almost freaking dead. Alright, one down. I'm heating up.
uh, there was a reason I put scratch that. Uh, oh yeah, high level acrobatics. When using a page whose original cost is three or higher, all dice gain plus one power and then plus one dice, uh, plus one blunt uh, as well. So, uh, along with the sort of the clash bonuses, scratch that gets plus two. So it's um, it's essentially three five tens, uh, mostly. So, um, so yeah, it's it's not terrible with the bo uh, the bonuses. Nice staggered. Not good. Not bad. Elm is about to stagger. Sod's about to stagger. Bloodlord is about to die. He got a kill before he died. I'm heating up, he says, right before burning to death. Staggered. Yep, that lord might be dead now. Plus two to four damage against an enemy with a state ailment if the librarian. I mean, that's just damage, that's not power. that to you sod. Oh no, Pleblor's alive. Not terrible with bonuses all clashes lose. I didn't say it was good, I just said it wasn't terrible. <laughs> yeah, it might be out of date. Uh, false gesture. Great counter. Staggered. Staggered. Shit. Another one dead. Wow, Collinium. But we lost Pleb Lord. Put that on Collinium because I think Pleblor. Uh, sorry, I think your sod might be on his way out. Synchronized Defri shoots for the next three scenes. I don't know what that means. Random ally takes dagger damage. Recycle this into. Each die is rolled eight times. I'm going to take Solemn Lament. I really want to know what that synchronized thing is, but... I still wonder how we managed to get Ryan and Pleb Lord on the same floor. Uh, he's just plebbing about, having a good time, having a good time. What have you got? Blunt plus one. 
Do I damage plus two? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna solemn lament the shit out of you. Here we go. Oh no. Staggered. Oh! Bloody amazing work, Collinium. Oh my god, I'm, I'm actually alive. <laughs> Yay, sweet buns are on you. Goody, five more of the buggers. That's what we need. We're not barely holding on, I promise. I will never die. Yeah, that's still recharging. Okay. I don't think we can win this, but we might be able to. I'm trying to be more, more not quietly confident. I'm trying to be more optimistic because I I think I have a tendency to be like, no, I've failed this. Oh, it's all terrible. Oh, would you look at that? I won. So I'm I'm trying not to do that. <clears throat> what are you hitting? Yeah. All right. I will creak at you. Puppet blockade at you, and we will start focusing. The frontman. Actually, no. Let's block that. I'm only realising I haven't seen Ryan's on kill and ally death lines. <laughs> oh, hey, Ranta, welcome. Oh, Ranta, it was you that said about Ryan and Pleblord. That makes more sense. For some reason, I thought there was oatmeal. Oh. I'm hoping that we'll. I'll get to use um, the discipline floor. So I might see about doing a um, a general reception just to try out the discipline floor. Oh, they're really going for him, aren't they? All right, smoke. Smoke on the Ryan. Yeah, they gave me an hour break because labor was terrible. I should be able to catch the rest of the stream. Brilliant! Good to have you. Elma, can you intercept this one for me? No, oh, come on, you sod, don't you dare die, you little prick. One Elmer. Nice. Good work, Colinium. No, Ryan. No, Col yes, odd. I always get those confused. I don't know why. Damn, Elmer's kicking ass. Seventh bullet. Deal one to seven. Uh, damage with offensive dice when offensive dice draws or loses deal damage equal to ha <laughs> no uh. I'm going to have to go with recharge although it's not very good Ryan died you know, none of these are blunt so I'm going to go with magic bullet just because I'm really curious
Beep boop. Synchronize with Defri shoots for the next three scenes. Am I saying that right? Is it free shoots or is it a fry shoots? I think it's free shoots, but I'm not sure. Brian died the same energy as old man yells at Cloud. Uh, I haven't had any kills here, and your sod's almost out. What do you have? Rhythm, giving you plus two strength. What do you have? Eternal. What? I thought I had one that did extra damage against someone with status effects. Was that a different one? Was that I think that was Lament. Damn, okay. Thought I had that one. Is it? It's got two strengthen and one rhythm. I oh, know. I think the rhythm just gives the strength. So he's got two strength and a thing. So that's plus three. So that's four to nine. Four to nine is not. It could. It could win. Four to nine could win. So yeah, I'll try it. Because he needs the freaking health. Uh. Any chance of someone using a magic bullet today? It's only a one cost, so theoretically I should be able to. Solemn Lament. Nice, took him out. Recovered a load of HP as well. Oh, it's got an achievement. The abnormality becomes me. Ah, there it is. 
Okay. What does that do? <laughs> Gives you totally different things. Desynchronize. Cancel synchronization at the start of the next scene. Magic bullet. Restore light. Seal a speed dice. Bloody hell. Mass individual. Whoa. Very cool. I guess this is the only example of um, ego ego suits that we're actually getting on our guys. Very cool, though. Colinium, I mean, Colinium does not look pleased about it. Well, I suppose I could shoot people. Thanks, Colinium. Much appreciated. These are zero cost. Five cost. Yeah, do that one instead. And then use zero cost ones on these. I wouldn't be surprised if someone's made vanity key page for Dish ET. Probably would look pretty damn good. Okay, you sod. You're on thin ice, buddy. Probably can't beat it. for that then. Nice. Nice. Staggered. And another staggered. <laughs> That's so cool. Staggered though. And almost dead. Damn, we staggered three of them in one turn. We may... We may have this. Didn't want to do this, but I have no choice. I'll always remember you for your honourable sacrifice, Colin dead. Piss.
I'm dead. Nice. Oh shit, she staggered before she could do a, a big attack. On hit against an enemy, his HP is 50% or lower, seal a dice. For the duration, endured becomes weak, fragile, gain haste and strength. Damn. All characters deal plus damage with attacks. This reception, they suffer. They also suffer stagger attack. Stag st stagger damage upon being hit. <sighs> no, that's too risky. I think it's gonna have to be dark flame on your sod. To overcome crisis is a pretty metal name for an attack, by the way. <laughs> Uh, that one for the blunt. What the fuck was that? <laughs> oh no, this may have just turned around by Elmer staggering. Because I've got too light. Yeah, Elmer's, Elmer's definitely dead. Oh, I was so close to this one. They've got so much health left, though. Yeah, bye, Elmer. I failed my faction and family. If I could afford something, I might... If I could have... Ah, oh, damn. Ran out of light. Ran out of hope. Yeah. Your sod's done for now. Oh, I got so close. Oh, one staggered. Bloody hell! How did your sword stack up both of them? You monster! Can I do this? Well, that's a definite kill on whoever it attacks. Fucking yeah, just ego the shit out of them, you sod. Oh my god, you sod, you absolute beast. Oh, what a turnaround, what a roller coaster of emotion. The murderer's experimenter, great. Could have done with some other nice, cool battle symbols, but no, I'll just, I'll take that one. Whew. Wow. So I think we've got the Liu Association coming to the library. What kind of association is it? It's a combat-oriented association specializing in all-out war. Basically the polar opposite of the Xi we received the other day. Ah, oh, it's, it's basically, oh, it's like an hour ago we met them. Cool. Yeah, um, one of our flaws is wearing their clothes. While the library's reception structure acted as a strategic advantage against this Xi association, it's the ideal stage for the Lu. You mean each association employs different strategies depending on its areas of expertise and atmosphere? Yep, 
Just take the two associations we talked about, for example. They're complete opposites. That thing I literally just said. I could get a glimpse of that from their atmosphere. Hmm. I wonder if the people who appeared to hold rather high positions will come to the library in the future. Beats me. If they do, though, it'll be a huge pain in the ass for sure. I see. There's not much I can do to help alleviate that, so good luck. Wow, well done, guys. Apparently I did get the uh, rush down and fleet edge from them. I'll burn some more just for fun. All right. Yeah, stage two. So that's where this one was. It's a stage two of it. Hmm. Let's see if we can do a general reception. There. That's a general reception. Look at them! The Ujat. Very cool. Uh, speed dice at the end of the scene recover half of the stagger damage taken. Minimum of one does not activate while staggered. At the end of a scene, give two protection to the ally that suffered the most damage. After suffering a one-sided attack, gain protection and stagger protect next scene. Harp. Gain one protection. Sand split. Gain protection. Sand Strike. Gain Endurance. Furacea. Gain Endurance. If the natural roll of defensive dice is max, add a Pierce die. Four to, four to five to the dice queue. Weird. The Ujant. Give two protection. Fascinating. Okay. I don't know that they're going to be able to handle it, but I would like to try these guys. They are still all dressed, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Oh, but um, you need a, an upgrade, actually. Because clean up is flatly improved to class and respect. Alright. Let's give them a go then. Oh, they don't say anything. Interesting. Meow. Don't read this in a southern accent. Just did a vibe. Only weak will punks run before things even begin. Okay. Sand strike. This is the first time I've used these guys as a floor, like without, apart from in abnormality fights. So I have no idea how they're gonna fare. for Ranta. Alright, smoke. And Bennett. And Cyan. 
Fuck you, gent. Oof. I think Cyan is built as a single dice for the most part. Prioritize. Uh, I want you to kill off. Actually, scratch that. Seriously? Oh, it's a six you're attacking. Wow. Alright. Never mind that prioritize thing I was just saying. Damn, that hit hard. Oof. Oh, Cyan's almost staggered. We do not appear to be doing a lot to them. Yeah, that did not go well. <laughs> Counter dice gain power. Gain strength based on the damage taken. Mark the first enemy that's attacked. Gain strength. Shh. That'll not. I'm working on a birthday gift for a friend right now. Decided to draw his favourite ship as birds. What, like, the Titanic is a bird with a broken wing? I don't know. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm assuming you mean, like, character ship. Like Thomas the Steamboat. Again, being facetious. Hmm. Oh, the music gave up. This is just the menu music now. Weird. This is the emotions, enemy emotions are high music? This doesn't seem like, hey, things are turning against you kind of music. This sounds like a, alright, pick what you want to do with your day kind of music. Alright, let's just try and get a kill, guys, and then we can absorb all their strength. In that way that we do. Yeah, I feel like Ranta might be a little bit screwed. To be honest, I don't think this is a good pick of a floor, both because the floor isn't that powerful and they're only four against five. So we're outnumbered and outmatched. <laughs> I just wanted to, to give them a go. 
No. Well. Ranta staggered. Cyan staggered. Just get a kill, guys. Stop dividing your attention and just get a kill. Please. For, for, for me. Nope, science down. Staggered though. Oh, very nearly got a kill. Rance is dead. Damn, all these people scare us and told that they secretly do care about. Oh, shit. Everybody's dead. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, it would be silly to bank on it being the bloody... Yay! We got one kill, guys. You know what that means. We can harvest their bones forever. They seem incapable of killing Gabura. Fucking hell, it took all of them. It took all of them to kill her. Damn. Well, we got two books. And that's more than enough because, hey, look at that, it's suddenly 65,000. So I just burn all of those. Interesting. Habood, Hawk's Eye and Mirage. Alright, I'll be looking forward to using that. And got some cool cards. Pages, Garen. They're called pages. Right, uh, we'll finish up by reading a bit of Credenza and then call it a day. What are we up to? Index. Did I read this one? I don't think I have. No two prescripts are the same in any way. As well as their contents being completely different from each other, you can't expect what and where you'll accept one. You'll receive one. It can't be placed between the patties. It could be placed between the patties of a burger you're holding. It could be in your mailbox. It could be handed to you by a passerby. However, if you question who delivers these prescripts or where they come from and put your curiosity into action, the proxies will come for you, so beware. Here's a few examples. To Remy, deliver a pizza, a bacon pizza to Danny's doorstop on the 8th Street before 10 a.m. sharp on September the 14th. To Jimin, do not utter a single word for five days. To Sihi, if the first person you meet outside today answers your greetings by lifting their right hand, take their heart out. If the person ignores your greetings, remove your own heart. And that is only scratching the surface of the shambolic orders written by on the prescripts. The contents of a prescript range from ordinary tasks to things that cannot be carried out in relatively normal, in terms of morality, means. The errant variety and creativity of the prescripts might make you wonder just what goes on in the head of the person responsible for writing them. Take a moment to think about how you would feel if you received a prescript that said chop off your right ankle and eat it medium rare. P.S. You don't have to eat the bones. You think this is an absurd instruction no sane person could follow. For those who belong to the Index will feel glad if it doesn't require chopping off both feet or eating the bones. <sighs> yeah, I've, I've given my theories about what, what the deal is with this. To summarise, I reckon there's either some sort of logic engine going on or some sort of genuine prescience, and that these are casting such a wide net 
to achieve specific outcomes. So, for example, um, Danny has a pizza, so therefore he doesn't go out to, to get food, and therefore there's one fewer person in the queue at the shop he likes so that someone gets served 10 seconds quicker, and therefore are uh, just in time to get hit by a bus. Or do not utter a single word for five days, because sometime in that they would have interrupted somebody who needed to say something specific. Um, other things have caused someone to greet someone by lifting their right hand and blah 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 you know so that's what i reckon this is that it's such a, a vast and complicated web of interconnected eventualities uh, to try and con uh, control the flow chaos theory Many people are under the impression that W Corp singularity is quick transportation via teleportation. That's how our technology is advertised to the public anyway. They aren't strictly wrong, they're just hiding the bigger picture from them. W Corp singularity is the restoration of a previous status. To put it in layman's terms, even if your body is crushed to a pulp, it can be restored to a recorded state as long as all the pieces remain. First off, we scan the molecular structures, genomic data, and other information the passengers required for their restoration when they sit on their seats. The scanned data is stored in the transmission device inside the train, ready to be sent to the restoration machine. With that, any and all kinds of pandemonium into which the carriages may have turned can be reverted with a single button. The machine has difficulty scanning life forms that move too much, so we need to take measures to subdue it. As with all singularities, it has small side effects. Some might leave the train with slightly more weight than before, or gain a bit of height. No one has filed a complaint about it, likely because the change is so minor that they just shrug it off as a matter of feelings, like the body feeling lighter because of their excitement for going on a trip, or feeling heavier because they ate too much prior to boarding the train. The passengers don't remember what happened inside the train, but that's not because we use amnesiacs, amnesiacs, amnest amnestics is the restoration procedure reverting the people's memories to a previous state, rather than selectively erasing them. In plain language, everything goes back to how it was when it was scanned. The passengers will continue the conversations they were having when they first boarded as if nothing happened. They won't notice any oddity or displacement in their dialogue. Any thoughts they had or words they were about to speak will be restored and resumed seamlessly. It's a fantastic idea! That is so beautifully planned out. It's such a cool idea. I love it. You thought opening gates to different dimensions was our singularity? That's actually a former singularity a fallen wing used to own. It wasn't a very well-known wing, so you probably wouldn't recognize it if I told you its name. Point is, that wing discovered a way to open gates between dimensions. The ability to create rifts in space. The wings sadly never knew how to utilize that stunning technology they'd found. The nest ended up falling before it could find a proper use for the singularity, and the company now known as W Corp spent a huge sum of money to purchase it. At first people in this corp also struggled to think of a way to use this tech. Even though it could make a big rip in space, entering was a whole different matter. You don't know what's in there or if you can even come back, they had no idea. But soon enough, W Corp found a way to put this dimensional gate to use, which involves T, uh, T Corp's tech. With the device made by T Corp, that collects time installed in the train, not a single second really passes in the carriages, even if the train travels for thousands of years. It's the uh, temporal preservation or whatever. That's what they apparently use, but it's too complicated for me. Anyway, whatever happens in the train, we revert it using our singularity of restoration, and T-Corp takes the time we collect for their own singularity. We're good business partners. This tech isn't just used for long-distance travel. It's applied to the weapons we use, too. Equipment used by agents of W-Corp is specialised in tearing and cutting things apart. We can precisely cleave lumps into individual pieces with the help of their space-ripping technology. Hmm. Huh. Uh, how would you not know the name of a mega corporation? Well, what was the biggest corporation in the 80s? Or in the 70s? Or the, the 20s? You know, these you forget these things because they're not relevant to you. 
To restore, uh, to restore the train, the passengers have to be in their seats. You have to be seated so the scanning program can detect your genomic data and put you back in the right seat. Oh, and the scanner has trouble reading things that are moving too much. You should be nice and stay still in your seat. So the warp cleanup crew, like us, tidy up the carriages and put the passengers in their seats according to the genomic data. And with a press of a button, ta-da, everything is back to normal as if nothing happened. I only learned this after I joined the core. Isn't that so cool? That's what we agents do. And sometimes the cleanup crew isn't enough for the job. What's so scary about dealing with humans, you ask? I heard this story from my seniors. One time a colour hid their identity and snuck onto the train. What a shocker that must have been. It's our rule to stop powerful people like colours or key members of associations from boarding our warp trains, or to guide them to take first class seats if they must board the train for a safe and smooth restoration process. We want them to sleep without a care of join instead of joining in the chaos of the other carriages. That colour fixer was super tricky to deal with, they told me. Most passengers started training under the colour's guidance in order to attain some kind of enlightenment. All but a few of our agents were pulverised by those people before they could even see a glimpse of the colour. But we aren't totally powerless against these situations. We could have gotten into so many problems otherwise, yeah? In, ca in case things get too difficult for our agents to handle, we call our corp a wing we're partnered with. I saw footage about Arcorp in our training course, they were so cool! That was my first time seeing the mercenaries in action. They'd keep pressing on and wipe their targets no matter how harsh their resistance was. I was like, whoa, they really are something else! The fourth pack, was it called the Rabbit Team? Yeah, I think it was. I gotta wonder though, why rabbits of all animals? Isn't that a herbivore? I was not going to ask that, no. Uh, they aren't going to raise the ticket prices or run fewer trains like the last time, are they? What do you mean, Cap? Lobotomy Corp, the company that was supplying our energy needs, went down recently. That's a good point. It's harder to operate the trains with less energy. What do you mean by last time, though? Oh, you're too new to know? Well, back in the day, L Corp's nest was occupied by another energy company. So that company put it out and put our corporation into the same sort of energy shortage we're dealing with now? Not quite. Oh, I think this is supposed to be a conversation, but I'm reading it all in one voice. Not quite. It did go bust eventually, but it's more that the company was stingy about sharing its energy. Awfully strict too. I heard it had a bad, bad reputation among its partner companies. Because they were so tight arsed about energy supply, we had to reduce the number of trains running for a while. I had no idea. Don't count on me though, I also picked the story up from my superior. That's enough chattering, let's get back to work. Fascinating. W Corp is one of my favourite things so far. And, yeah, to be honest, Lestie's one of my favourite characters. I just love her attitude to this stuff. Like, I think when I've finished um, the playthrough, because uh, I plan to basically 100% this game on stream, hopefully, uh, what I plan to do, or what I'd like to do, rather, is I would like to do a, um, like a tier list of of uh, Library of Ruiner characters because there are so many characters and some of them are really good like Lesty so cool I think that's enough for me my voice is beginning to give out as it does uh, so I'll just note smiling is next cool Ugh. Yeah, W Corp is just really cool. And visually amazing as well. I love their style. Right. Decent progress today. Next time I'll be back in a couple of days to do NetZack stuff. Um, we've still not had anyone claim the Chesed or Hokma one. So I'll come up with one for Chesed. But the Hokma ones are still open if anyone wants it. Uh, just put it in the chat. Um, and I think at this point I'm going to say put in put in the VOD comments if you want it. Because um, in case you're not available to make it to the stream. So yeah, this is the last chance to get the Chesed one and the Hockman ones. Uh, they'll, they could be around a bit longer. So if I haven't had uh, Chesed one booked before next stream, I'll go in and I'll put in someone uh, just before the next stream. Right. 
Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, check out my YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, check out my Twitch. Uh, either way... Um... Either way, check out my social media linked below the Twitch in the description of the YouTube stream and uh, the Garen River Discord, same place. We talk on there a lot. Uh, you can come on and share fan art and theories and stuff about uh, Lobco and Ruiner and such. Um, yeah. Uh, hello future people, goodbye future people. I'll be back in a couple of days with more Library of Ruiner. And we will do the Netzack realization. So, thank you very much. Have a good rest of your week. And I will catch. Hang on, let me just check if anyone if anyone is uh, streaming so I can raid. Nope, nobody's on. So, all right. I will catch you guys later. Have a good rest of your week. Bye bye.